Hey guys and welcome to this week's installment of Tuesdays with Lauri. My name is Lauri Laukkonen and I'm one of the editors at SLR Lounge. You can also find me on Facebook at Lauri Laukkonen Photography. In this week's installment of Tuesdays with Lauri, we're going to be taking a look at how we can create vignettes in Photoshop. I'll teach you guys at least three different techniques for creating vignettes. And uh, with that said, let's get started and open up Photoshop. So here you guys can see an image that I shot about like three or four months ago. And now what we're going to do is uh, add a vignette around the image and use three different techniques for doing it. Let's start out with the most commonly used technique, uh, which goes like this. Uh, we open up the curves adjustment panel from here, pull down the mid tones about like this and use the elliptical marquee tool from here and just select a nice elliptical area from the image like this and then just fill in this area with uh, the black color so just alt and backspace now we've created this vignette but it doesn't look very good yet so what we'll have to do is go down to filter blur and gaussian blur and ju then just apply a nice large blur on the layer mask itself and this creates a nice soft vignette around the edges of the image. So that's the first very easy way of creating a vignette. But this vignetting technique is a bit uh, artificial in a way. It doesn't look very natural. It's just this basic looking uh, elliptical vignette around the edges. But there's no randomness in it. It looks very Photoshop-y in a way. So now I'm going to turn this off and show you guys another technique that you guys can use. Again, we use the curves adjustment panel, but this time instead of pulling down the mid-tones, what we do is we pull down the highlights and pull them down almost three quarters of the way, somewhere around here. Uh, and then we can close up the curves adjustment panel. We take a nice large and soft brush, so I can show you guys from here. My hardness is 0%. We take a nice large soft brush and use the black color from here and just paint on the layer mask. Let's just pull up the flow so that we guys can see it quicker. And now just start revealing the areas that we want to see in this image. So let's just do it from here. And the benefit of using this, this technique uh, is the fact that now we are kind of totally in control of what areas to bright and what areas are dark and this way the vignette doesn't look as artificial in a way it doesn't look like we just used the elliptical marquee tool but instead we're really uh, choosing the areas that we want to brighten up and the areas that we want to darken so this vignette looks something like this again a very nice technique you can choose what areas you brighten and what areas you keep dark and if uh, if the edges look a bit too sharp in your taste, again you can use the filter uh, blur Gaussian blur technique and kind of soften up the layer mask a bit and uh, that will also give a nice soft edge for the vignette. So we have two different techniques now uh, the brush which we used and kind of manually brought in the highlights and then the elliptical marquee tool which gives this nice uh, pretty simple vignette around the edges it's a bit artificial and now the third technique which is the technique that I actually use most of the time is it's a it's a bit more random so uh, it might look a bit funny but just trust me it works so let's pull down the midtones again about halfway here and close it up and now instead of using the elliptical marquee tool let's use the lasso tool now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start drawing these very random lines around the edges of the image. Uh, this technique works best with uh, tablet but uh, works also very well with a mouse. The pen itself, the tablet and the pen just helps in creating these very very random lines. So this looks a bit funny uh, but soon you guys can see what I'm doing, the, how this works. So I'm drawing these very random lines. There's really no rules to what I'm doing here. I'm just drawing around the edges. 
And now this uh, lasso tool creates this selection and I'm going to fill in this selection now with black. So again, Alt and Backspace. And now, this doesn't look like a perfect vignette yet. But now again, we use this filter, blur, Gaussian blur technique that we learned already before. And again, just a nice, very large vignette, somewhere around 150. Let's see, I'll just pull it up, 147. Yeah, this looks good. And now, our vignette is even more random and more natural looking than the first elliptical marquee tool that uh, technique that we used. So I'll show you guys the layer masks for all three different vignettes so you guys can understand what I mean. So the first layer mask for this elliptical marquee tool looks like this. It's very, very artificial looking, a bit photoshoppy. Then I'll close this up and open up the next vignette. This layer mask looks already a bit more random. It has these uh, variations of brightness and darkness around the areas and it's not very uh, it doesn't look as artificial as the elliptical marquee tool technique and then the third technique the uh, technique that I taught you guys last gives us the most natural looking random uh, vignette so I'm going to show you guys the layer mask and as you guys can see now there's a lot of variation between the darks and lights there are light spots there are dark spots everywhere around the image and this way we get a very nice natural looking vignette on the image. So three different techniques of how you guys can create vignettes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. And as always, if you have any questions or requests for future episodes, just leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you all out. If you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to like, share and subscribe. And as always, see you guys again next Tuesday. Bye.